This week, we're going to talk about avoiding ground loops in your aircraft. No, not the kind that is caused by losing control of your aircraft while landing. Rather, the type that occurs behind your instrument panel and can create noise in the headset of your communication radio. The internal computers found inside modern day home built aircrafts, glass panels, navigation equipment, iPads, transponders, communication radios, etc., in addition to magnetos that generate the spark for your spark plugs, all of those generate radio frequency interference and noise that can be picked up by your communication radio. So this tip of the week will discuss how we can help eliminate noise from our communication radio. One thing we can do is to be sure we don't have a ground loop situation with the wiring of our radio circuit. So what is a ground loop? There is a simple definition. A ground loop occurs when there are multiple ground connection paths used for a single electrical device. Let's look at a possible duplicate ground connection with an aircraft communication radio. Here is a very simple diagram to illustrate what we're talking about here. Here's a circuit for our communication radio in our aircraft. We have a 12 volt battery in our aircraft with a positive and negative pole. And we typically ground the negative pole of our battery if we have a metal aircraft right to the airframe. Here's our communication radio. It has a positive lead that goes to the battery and of course it has a return ground that we connect back to the negative side of the battery. In between here is probably a circuit breaker, maybe a switch, we're not showing those, but a very simple circuit when the radio runs the current flows between the positive and negative of the battery. No surprises there. Now we do have another connection to the radio. And here are the wires that are also coming from our communication radio. We have four jacks and of course this is for our headset for the pilot and passengers. Two of them are for the speaker and two of them are for the microphone. And underneath each of these white cables, this white insulation is a shield, either a braid or a foil. We can't see it directly here. And the purpose of that shield is to keep noise off of the signals, the microphone and audio signals to our headsets. That noise being generated from other locations within the aircraft will be blocked by these shields and that's why shielded cable is used. That shielded cable is grounded at the radio side. We also have to note that if we install these jacks onto a metal airframe that the metal airframe is grounded and these black wires on each one of these if you note closely, the black wire is also tied to the metal part that will touch your airframe when you mount it. So in effect, you are grounding the black wire, which is also attached to the metal foil underneath, and grounding at each of these four ends to your airframe. Now I have updated our diagram with the shielded cable that runs to our audio jacks and microphone jacks. There are actually, of course, four of these. I've only drawn one of them. But now we have another ground connection where that jack attaches to our metal panel. Now when the radio is on, we have a current flow between the positive and negative, except notice that the flow back to the negative will take this path and it will take this path. We now have multiple paths to ground that the current will flow from this radio. 
This is what is called a ground loop. Of course, I'm not showing the wires that actually go to the microphone and to the speaker in your headset. I'm only showing the ground connection, that shield or braid that is on those wires running to your headphone jacks. So in reality, if I drew all four of them, we would have four plus one, five redundant paths to ground so that when we power our radio, the current will flow in five different ways back to the battery. And of course, in between here and the battery is your airframe, all the metal in your airframe. Here's why ground loops are a problem. Duplicate ground paths form the equivalent of a loop antenna which very easily picks up interference signals that are radiated from the devices in your panel that we mentioned, magnetos, EFIS displays, navigation equipment, and the like. With a ground loop present, instead of the braid shielding your audio cables, the opposite effect occurs, which means interfering signals are coupled or induced as currents into this braid the same way a transformer works with its coiled windings. You can Google ground loops for a deeper understanding of the physics involved if you are curious. The solution for eliminating this ground loop is easy. We simply need to make sure that these jacks do not touch the airframe and don't get electrically grounded when they are installed. You may already be familiar with the insulating washers we need to use when installing our headset jacks. If you place one of these washers on before installing the jack in the panel and then one on the outside of the panel, then the jack's shield wiring will be insulated from the airframe and prevent a ground at this point. Each jack needs to be insulated like this. Usually these fiber washers come with audio jacks when you purchase them, but be sure to check. You have now eliminated a ground loop with this type of installation. Generally speaking, for other electronic devices in your aircraft, the same issue exists in that when your devices are not connected to the very same grounding point, there is a possibility for a ground loop. The ground potential is not exactly the same between different grounding points. These tiny voltage differences brought about by different grounds cause a current to flow between them and this produces noise, hum, and interference in audio systems. The solution is simple. Always run your grounds from every electrical device back to a common grounding point. So in summary, we want to make sure when wiring our radios not to inadvertently create ground loops or multiple paths to ground. And you know the routine by now, everyone back to building.